Hey everybody, it's Christina Daves, PR strategist, and today is your lucky day. I am so excited to bring my friend Jen Chan on. Uh, Jen it has been a style expert in the media, fashion editor, I'm gonna let her tell you everything. For the last 15 years, she is now working with People Magazine as the shopping editor. Welcome, Jen. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, tell everybody what you do so or I, what you've done. You did a pretty good job. <laughs> um, I, I've been working in media for over 15 years, fashion and beauty editor, style expert, on-air host. So I've worked for lots of leading publications like InStyle Magazine, E! News, The Kardashians, uh, People Magazine Now, uh, Travel and Leisure, only planet I do fashion beauty and travel okay so we're gonna take a little guess that she's been pitched a lot right <laughs> yeah. right you okay can say that. Yeah. so let's find out Jen what tell me what makes a good pitch you you probably get hundreds hundreds of thousands of emails all day it feels weird if I don't get right. at least several dozen of pitches every single day of the year I would say the best pitches are the ones that are short and concise they get to the point you got to have visuals in your email. Like I need to see a picture of the product. I need to see what it's going to look like because media is very visual. visual. Yes. I need to know that it's going to look pretty on the page or pretty on the website or pretty on camera, yep. whatever medium that I'm focused on. And then if you can, and especially for fashion and beauty, gift. Give samples. Let me see it. Let me touch it. Let me feel it. Let me try on the lipstick or play with the hairspray or try on the dress and feel the fabrication, especially if there's unique qualities to it. Maybe it's sustainable. Maybe it has special ingredients that I want to talk about. I need to really be able to try and test it, to vet it before I tell my hundreds of thousands of readers to you. So being, being stingy, I know we all have budget limitations, but if you have the ability to gift and be generous and, and be timely about it, then it's that much more advantageous for the brand to get that placement. Okay, and you heard what she said. She was talking hooks. What do I always <laughs> tell you guys? Hooks, it's sustainable. It's made with a certain product. Now, let me ask you a question though, because we hear a lot of different Thing. Do you let people, do you take blind samples or is it better to email you and have you say, I'm interested, I want to learn more, send me a sample? I like to definitely agree to receiving the samples. Okay. Sometimes I might not have a story that's completely confirmed yet or it's not even in the works that this might be happening, but you never know what's going to happen. I might get yep. uh, a deadline that's due in three days, and thankfully I have this product that's sitting on my desk, and I can figure a way to put it in there, versus having that deadline and having to reach out and hoping that somebody will overnight, overnight something. Right. And it's just, it, it serves you if you have the bandwidth and you have the budget to sample and gift in advance. Okay. It will always give me a better um, indication of that I can probably place it, and it'll stay top of mind. If I can actually touch and feel and see it, and if I like it, I'm going to try to find a way to place it. It may not be overnight. It may right. not next week but I'll keep it in mind and then I talked to you all about this too they keep folders like on their desk with good story ideas and we're talking product but it's the same thing with stories if you pitch the media and it's good but it might not be good right now mm -hmm. so that's why it's so important okay last question tell me about a bad pitch because <laughs> we want people to learn from Ooh. this like right you can and we won't call anybody out on this we've all done it I've sure. done bad pitches I think a bad, I'm going to say a bad pitch or a bad media effort would be if you aren't serving the brand. I have been to events where I know they spent money on the venue and the catering and the gift bag, but there wasn't branding or there wasn't anything for me to test or try. I went to a skincare event where I still to this day don't know what that skincare feels like or why I was there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I loved the, the cocktail and the hors d'oeuvre and I got a pretty photo, but it was <laughs> like you have to think it all the way through and hiring the right PR who understands that, that it's it's a it's a very you know omnipresent touch point for, for media. Like if we're going to show up, we want to really understand the information why it's going to be press worthy. I want to be able to talk about it later to my family and friends. And then I want to feel comfortable and confident that if I write about it and give you that media placement, that these hundreds of thousands of readers are going to feel like that was a great recommendation. So do your homework, make sure that you're really delivering and be timely about it. There's nothing worse than I have an opportunity to, to give a brand or an expert a mention and I don't hear back from their PR because they were on vacation or they didn't check their email or they took a, a siesta or something. And I'm like, it's so timely, especially now it's very competitive. We, yes. we are publishing stories every hour of every day, and we are competing against all the other outlets that are hitting publish at the same amount of time. So it's almost a race for us to get that headline, to get that story, and um, you have to work. It's a race, so you have to work fast, and you have to have the right people around you. So you got that. We need a good hook. <laughs> they, she's got to see, feel, touch the product, right? And your story. 
We talk about this all the time. Your story is so important as part of the product. So thank you so much, Jen. This is Jen Chan, People Magazine. <laughs> I want you all to start pitching the media and share with me all your success stories.